I, I'm Roland Weeks. Um, I moved to the coast in 1968, uh, one year before the uh, Hurricane Camille, and uh, have been had been running this newspaper from that time to uh, 32 years later. Camille was a very important uh, uh, matter in my life. Uh, I moved here, I was 32 years old, wet behind the ears, had a lot to learn about newspapers, although I had worked for the newspaper in Columbia, South Carolina for five years, I still had a lot to learn. The night of the, the hurricane, uh, I came here with Bob McHugh, who was editor, uh, from Columbia, South Carolina, a wonderful man, and uh, several other people as well. And uh, we spent uh, part of the time on the first floor when uh, water started coming in. We came to the second floor. Uh, we were concerned about uh, what was happening, of course, and uh, whether this building would uh, survive the storm. My car, as a matter of fact, was washing around in the water uh, outside of uh, several windows uh, as we uh, worked here, uh, calling uh, to uh, Columbia, South Carolina, providing uh, news that uh, we asked them and they agreed to publish for us. And uh, so we spent the night, uh, remarkably the next morning, uh, the building was covered in debris and uh, Bob and I and others walked outside and began moving things ar around to uh, clear the front door and employees began walking up to the front door and came in wanting to know what they could do. We, when we walked out the first time, one of the first things that we saw was a very large sailboat in the uh, building uh, next to ours, uh, not far away. And uh, it had, of course, washed up from somewhere out in the Gulf. Uh, that told us what we, we could uh, expect uh, to find in other parts of the, uh, the Gulf Coast. When I went outside and, and looked around, uh, I saw people who uh, I was happy to, I can say now, I'm very happy to say that uh, those people were uh, determined. Uh, they weren't uh, crying. They were uh, showing that they were going to fight to recover. And this was their home. And so I was very proud to be a part of a community that uh, had that kind of uh, uh, the, the kind of strength that uh, people have inside them uh, when, when the ships are down is very important. And uh, what I learned was that uh, people here, and I suppose many other places as well, were up to the challenge of, of uh, working hard, working together uh, for recovery.